Hello friends, welcome to the Networks. My name is Edgar Francis. In this video, we will see what is GRE tunnel and how to configure encrypted GRE tunnel with IPsec ESP security. GRE is used when a packet needs to be sent from one network to another over the internet and GRE is a network tunneling protocol developed by Cisco that can encapsulate a wide variety of network layer protocol inside the virtual point-to-point -point or point-to-multi-point -point links over an IP network. GRE tunnel also allow unicast, multicast and broadcast traffic between routers but there is a problem with GRE tunnel. It is a clear text and GRE does not provide a good read protection. We can, in However, we can encrypt the complete GRE tunnel with IPsec security which provide good read security. If you want to know more in detail about the GRE tunnel and IPsec, there is a link in the description box so you can visit it out. First, I have already configured the IP addressing which uh, you can see. We show IP interface every you see all the IP addressing, but we have not configured that tunnel. So, so first we have go to configure the default route. So IP route dot z dot zero zero dot z dot zero. The next stop is one dot one dot one dot two. Same way on router three, which is uh, side B route. So IP route zero dot zero dot z dot zero zero dot z dot zero. Next dot three dot three dot three dot two on uh, our ISP router. Router two is acting as an ISP router. We are going to configure the default route. It's a uh, ten dot three dot three dot zero in order to reach the ten dot network. We have to go one dot one dot one dot one. Okay. Same way IP route in order to reach the thirty dot network. Five dot three dot three dot zero three dot three dot three dot one. Okay. Now let's check the connectivity between these uh, these routers and and uh, ping thirty dot one dot one dot one dot one. You see the uh, success rate is hundred percent. Same way on both side we will check the ping ten dot one dot one dot one dot one. Okay, success rate is hundred percent. Okay, let's check the routing table. Show IP uh, out. Static. Okay, you'll see the default route over here. Okay, after that, now we are going to configure the tunnel and the tunnel IP address from site A site is 192.168.123.1 and another site which is B router B site which is uh, 192.168.123.1.2. Uh, okay. So, configure the terminal interface uh, tunnel. The tunnel name is one two three, and tunnel IP address, which is one ninety two dot one sixty eight um, one two three dot two one two five five dot two four five dot two five five dot zero, and MTU sites IP MTU fourteen hundred TCP thirteen sixty. And tunnel source, the tunnel sources, the 1.1.1.1, .1 .1 .1 .1. you will see over here. Okay, over here, you will see. It's a 1.1.1.1, .1 .1 .1 .1. so 1.1.1.1. .1 and the tunnel destination, which is 3.3.3.1. Uh, .3 .3 okay. Now let's check. The tunnel is up or not? You show IP interface only. Over here, you will see we have the tunnel manually. After that, now we are going to configure on router 3, side B router. Same way, interface um, tunnel 1 to 3, the IP address for side B is 192.168.123. Dot two two five five dot five dot two five five dot zero. Okay, MT IP MT size fourteen hundred and IP TCP just thirteen sixty. Tunnel source yeah. tunnel source is three dot three dot three dot two one and uh, tunnel destination. Tunnel destination is 1.1.1.1. Okay, that's it. 
Let's check Lucio IP interface grid. Over here you will see the tunnel is up. The method is manual. Okay, now we have successfully configured the tunnel. Let's check the tunnel. Show IP show interface uh, tunnel one to three. Over here you will see encapsulation is uh, tunnel. Tunnel protocol is transport theory IP. Okay. Okay, now we are going to configure uh, some dynamic routing. In our case, we are using an EIGRP and we are not going to advertise the serial interface and configure on ISP router. We are just configuring the EIGRP on router 1 and router 3 and advertise only the in uh, tunnel interface and the LAN interface. Okay, so configure terminal and Router EIGRP 123. We are on site B, so network 30.0.0. And we have another network which is our tunnel internal IP addresses 192.168.123.0. And not summary. Now on router 1. Okay, so router EIGRP now to 3. First, we advertise our LAN, net, LAN interface, LAN IP address, LAN dot After that, we are going to advertise our general IP address 192.168.123.0. Now, to summary, exit. You will see the neighborship is up over here. Now let's verify. Do show show IP route EIGRP. Over here you will see router one as now thirty dot network via the tunnel interface one two three. Okay. Now let's try to send some packet from router A to router B, and let's set. It's going by the serial interface or the tunnel interface. So trace route 30.1.1.1.1 source sources fast net 0 slash 0. You can see it's going by the tunnel interface. Okay. Now our tunnel is not protected uh, it's a clear text so we are going to configure ipsec and encrypt complete tunnel entire tunnel okay so in order to encrypt the tunnel first we are going to configure um, ipsec okay so first now crypto okay. my policy policy number you can use any i'm using one two three okay now we have to give the authentication it's a pre-share so pre-share hash sha and group five five and encryption AES okay now router 3 which is side B router okay crypto policy we are going to configure the same way just like we configure router 1 authentication which is free share so Hash SHA and group pipe. Sorry, hash SHA and uh, group five encryption. Encryption is yes, 
exit okay now we have to configure the key starting from router one make sure the key exact the same crypto right now and the key we are using zero okay the name internet works you can use any name address of the peer is uh, 1.1.1.1 okay sorry the address for the peer is um, 3.3.3. .3 .3. Okay. No. The address of the peer is 3.3.3.1. A mistake may type your name, the source IP address. Okay. So 3.3.3.1. .3 this is the peer IP address. Okay. The same way we are going to configure on side b here crypto exec map key zero name internet works you can use any name and the address is uh, 1.1.1.1 okay now we have to configure the uh, the transform set starting from router one okay so crypto ipsec transform set name we are using gre trans okay just to be simple esp aes and esp sha okay here you can be here we are going to define the tunnel it's a tunnel or transport I'm using the tunnel okay exit after that the same same commands we are going to apply on site B router crypto sec transform set and the GRE trans this is the name and ESP AES ESP such a okay mode now we have to create the IPsec profile okay starting from again router one and crypto ipsec profile the name gre profile so pro okay gre pro set um, here we are going to set the transform set so transform set the name of the transform set over here is uh, what we configure keep the name is gre GRE trans so GRE trans okay exit okay same way on router 3 crypto ipsec and profile GRE proof PLF proof okay now set the transform set set transform set the transform set name is gre or gre trans so gre trans okay thank you now we are going to apply the tunnel protection ipsec profile on the Tunnel interface. So going on router A. Okay, interface. Interface. Tunnel. The tunnel name is one two three. Okay, tunnel protection. 
ipsec and the profile the profile name is um, GRE Pro, so GRE Pro. Let's check. Okay, you can see the message over here. Same way, we are going to configure over here also. Interface, interface, and um, tunnel one, two, three and uh, tunnel protection and profile tunnel protection IP set profile is uh, GRE prof exit now you can see Neighborship message over here. Neighborship is up. Okay. Now let's try to ping. First, we have to check the tunnel. Show. Show interface tunnel one to three. Now you will see over here it's a tunnel. The IP address over here encapsulation is tunnel, tunnel source IP address, and tunnel destination IP address. Tunnel protocol transport is GRE IP. Okay. And the most important thing is the tunnel protection via IPsec you will see over here. So now this tunnel is protected with IPsec. Okay, now let's uh, send some packet and check the packet is encrypted or not. Okay, so ping 30.1.1.1.1.1. The source is Fast Ethernet because this is the LAN interface. Fast uh, Ethernet 0 slash 0. And uh, okay, you can see now. Let's check show crypto IP sec as a okay. Now you see the packet encapsulate encrypted and packet digest everything is here so this r tunnel is completely secure and status is active so this is how you can configure the gre tunnel with ipsec protection i hope you like this video if you like please give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much